All right, well, welcome back to Big Bird's Adventures. We're just going to get all, right off to work here, um, cutting all the studs. So we're needing 99 inches right below that. And we're going to knock all these out. I believe there's 35 of them just to get prepared to put these walls up. So we're doing the big wall in the living room, and we're doing the bedroom walk-in closet. So... Uh, this is going to be exciting. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I did lose some footage. So the last five feet of the big wall I did lose, but you'll see it in the walkthrough. And it all turned out really well. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. We're still down here in the basement, um, obviously, basement build. Um, we're working on, we finished pushing these walls up all the way down, lined them up nice. Um, just seeing how the insulation went back in there. Got to get this wall a little more leveled up. I mean, the whole thing needs to be set and pinned to the ground. And then it just happened to land on this stud so that's pretty lucky so right now so we've got that one built We're just trying to get all the walls built before we make them permanent do our remeasure make sure everything is good i kind of want to get this uh two by six here and then cut these off and then frame this window in so we'll have a two by six here two by six here two by six two by six and that and that way it covers the extra um, mount that's needed so yep and then we've got the closet i'm going to try to get this framed up um <clears throat> i got a whole wall to build here and here and as you can tell it's it's much shorter um than the rest of the house the rest of the basement because of and we don't want to frame up over this or anything so we're just going to put a low ce lower ceiling in the closet and i'll show you how that's done
All right, <laughs> so we got this wall up. I have to kind of build it in here. I can't build it like a standard frame. So I had to tack this board on and then just build the frame and then go along and drop the studs in. These are on 22 inch spacings. So I learned from the apartment that I usually would leave this blank if we didn't need a stud. So I went ahead and did and finished the 22 inch out. Then you have these little pockets here. But I'm gonna start working on this back wall here, get everything leveled up from this side. I've still gotta put a Well, we have got this back wall up, so it fit in there really nicely. Um, got our two studs in, got our corner completed, and now we just need to put the studs in for this wall here, which may take a little bit of effort <laughs> because some of this stuff's kind of pushed over a little bit. But yeah, we're getting to that point where all the walls are up. We got this side, that side, and this side, and now we just need to frame the the drop down ceiling so it'll cover so let's wrap this day up of framing uh, looks like we just got to the uh, closet today um, and the and the big wall so that's exciting um, I wanted to get this piece right here done but I'm, I'm a little whooped so and then I temporarily put the closet door on so that looks pretty cool and it's it's still dark in here you guys so as you can tell, the do closet door opens. We've got wall structure all the way around. And we'll finish it up on the next one. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, as always, we're trying to get the videos in and out. Um, had a little bit of a family, a personal family event that we had to do. So I missed this week or missed last week's um, video. But um We'll get one out today or tomorrow, and then we'll get one out on Friday. So, but thanks for watching, and as always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.